for reporting for kids first here to talk about Mel Brooks AFI Award. A little history about the AFI Awards. This has been brought on by the American Film Institute giving this high award to such actors and directors such as Robert De Niro, Morgan Freeman, Meryl Streep, Martin Scorsese and many others. And this year they decided to give it to none other than my idol Mel Brooks. He has given us such classics such as Mel Blazing Saddles, The Producers, Silent Movie, and many others. And he's given us the funniest moments of all the cinema. Now, when I first got there, I was really blessed to be at the AFI Awards because Mel Brooks meant so much to me with, with my view of comedy. But we'll get into that later. When we got in there, the food was amazing. Mm, it was gourmet. It was wonderful. In the beginning, we saw a little bit of history about comedy and everything, and then we saw Mel Brooks' scenes and parts of his movies. And then we see what I think was the best part of the show, Mon Short singing, I want to be a producer, and we see him dancing and singing, doing a sort of Broadway theme with characters from his movies, such as by Frankenstein from Young Frankenstein, a cowboy from Blazing Saddles, and many other characters, and it was just hilarious. Then we saw actresses and actors talk about what the, how Mel Brooks meant to them. Either they never worked with him, they may have worked with him, they almost didn't work with him, or we just saw each other on the bus. So, and some of these guys were just amazing, because Billy Crystal was up there talking about Mel Brooks, and uh, he almost worked with him, but he says, but Mel, I'm tired of just a Broadway show. Oh, don't worry, you can take a nap and then you can work on, work on me with the movie. And he said, no, Mel. So, and then, Bill, then Billy says, I'm still waiting for that call, Mel. I'm ready to go now. <laughs> and these actors were just respected him for his comedy and everything. And then, and before all that happened, we have Amy Poehler, who talks about Mel and talks about the leading ladies and then she said the most wonderful thing she could say said, saying and if only we can be as loved to cheer us as Mel loved Anne as is Anne Bancraft which touched all, everyone in the audience including Mel. Then we had Mel's bestest friend Carl Reiner talk which he has his watch he's going like okay I'm timing my speech. Mel you've been a wonderful time you've been Wonderful, we felt, oh, I'm out of time, sorry, Mel, but it was hilarious. But then came the most wonderful thing anything can happen to me. On the red carpet, I, get, I got to interview Dick Van Patten, but then I got to interview Mel Brooks. And I can tell you, this was the most wonderful thing could happen to me, because Mel meant so much to me in comedy. And what even made it more cherishing is that he took both his hands, laid on top of mine, and it felt, we, I, it, it was a great connection to us, because he just was so warm and just so... Oh, <laughs> I know. Hi, Mr. Brooks, I'm a <laughs> huge fan. And, <laughs> and, Sorry. and tell him who you are. <laughs> yeah. uh, I just have a few questions. S since you're a comedy legend and everything, who and what was the inspiration to make such amazing films in their tank business? Well, you know, when I was a little kid, I used to see people like Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin yeah. and, the, and the Ritz Brothers and the Three Stooges, and, and they, they showed me a whole world. Otherwise, I would have been working in the garment center, <laughs> cutting garments, but they took me out of that, and they said, comedy, that's the way to go, kid, and I've been there ever since. Well, anyway, thank it's you. a pleasure to talk pleasure to you. Pleasure to talk to you. Thank you, sir. After that, we just see Mel take his speech to get, finally get his Air 5 award, which was presented by Martin Scorsese himself, which was really, was really spectacular to see. But Mel had his own approach of giving his speech, because with every other Air 5 speech was always passionate, dramatic, heartwarming, but he decided to take another approach. He had his notes, there were sticky pads, there were scribblings, there was eraser marks, there was a pencil, and he was like, I'd like to thank the American Film Institute and 
Well, actually, no, I won't. I don't, I don't want to thank him. She rips the notes up. He's like, and I'm like, oh, no, I don't want to say that. Shh, 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 shh. So that was hilarious. But what I learned more about Mel is he didn't just do comedy. He actually did more. He made a company saying, or making a company do many other movies, such as The Elephant Man, which I never knew he even his company did that. And to see such a movie that dramatic and very heartwarming, be a production of Mel Brooks is even, it's amazing. So, Mel, it, you may not see this, but if you do, I have to thank you for giving us these wonderful films and for giving us comedy and laughter. And from the bottom of my heart, it means a lot to have met you. So, and out up there, I'm Steve from Amy, Amy Poehler, and it's smiling down on you right now. I'm Kiefer, reporting for Kids First, and to say, Cane me! If you're blue and you don't know, why don't you go? Well, fashion sits on the roots. It's good to be the king. <laughs>